What's up guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and today we're going to be installing a portable version of Windows 10 onto a USB drive called Windows To Go. Officially it's only for Windows Enterprise Editions, but I'm going to show you a way how to do this on every edition of Windows, right here, right now. So guys, to start off we're going to need a couple of things, a USB 16 gigabytes or more. Uh, you could actually install this on a USB hard drive if you have one of those and a retail version of Windows. It could be Windows 10, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1. And I'm gonna show you how to get that. It took me forever just to figure out that you cannot use the Windows media creation tools. The ISO that ships with that, it doesn't work with it. So here we have the Windows Tech Bench. I'm gonna leave a link in the descriptions below where you could go to this site and download the, I, uh, the retail version of this. You're gonna select it's up to you. I did single language, confirm, then English, confirm, and then it will actually give you the 32-bit or the 64-bit download, and the link is valid for 24 hours. All right, guys, the next thing what we're going to need is Rufus. I'm going to leave a link in the descriptions below so you know where to get that. Now, what I ended up doing was downloading the portable version because I didn't want to have the installer going through, and the portable version is just as good. Okay, now that we get all the tools and we downloaded the ISO image, you're required to open up Rufus tool. And here, it's blank because I haven't stuck anything in. What I'm gonna do is stick in a USB. You're gonna see it pops up 16 gigabyte HP flash drive. Uh, I left this the same, NTFS, uh, it has to be NTFS, and uh, four byte cluster, four megabyte cluster. You can name it anything, I named it Windows to Go. Next thing you do is open an image, and I downloaded actually both versions because I have another project in mind, but you could use a uh, 64 bit version. Open that up and you're gonna see this new option that says Windows to Go. Once you select that, you hit start, it's going to warn you because you are actually not using an official Microsoft USB thumb drive. Uh, we're just going to proceed. Uh, are you going to lose all your data? Yes, you will lose all your data on this USB drive if you haven't figured that out already. Hit start. And if you want to see what's going on, you can just hit log right over here and it'll track down everything. Now this process will actually take a while. If you're using a USB 2.0 thumb drive and it's not that fast, it will it will take a while. I ended up installing this into a USB hard drive and I'm gonna close this out and show you right now. Okay, as far as slapping it into a USB hard drive, what you need to do next is actually click this little down arrow, list USB hard drives and check that off. And now you're gonna realize that I have two. One is a thumb drive, which is a 16 gigabyte, bef and the other one is 256 gigabyte hard drive. You could just select the hard drive and go through the process like I showed you just before. I don't have footage of the actual install. That's because it took too long and I wasn't able to record it. But now we're going to skip to the rebooting process. So start, power, and then restart. All right, remember after the reboot, you're going to have to set your BIOS to boot from the hard drive or USB, whatever you prefer. It's going to load through a lot of settings and it takes a while actually to go through that. And when you're done, it's going to be presented with this screen. Uh, all you have to do is set your language, your time zone, hit next. It's going to apply all the settings. And then it's going to ask you to um, put in a serial key, which I ended up skipping. And you could do that later. You could go back in and activate your windows later. Now here on, accept the terms. And basically, that's about it. You're just going to have to accept the terms and let it do its thing. Uh, I haven't had it set to the internet yet. I'll do that later. And then I used express setting. So here, after you're done, it's going to ask you to set up your password. It's going to be flashing black and white. And you're presented with a Windows 10 booted off your hard drive or your USB thumb drive. I'm going to check the file explorer and you're going to see that this is actually running off my hard, uh, USB, Windows to go. And it takes approximately 10 gigabytes of space or 10.5, I believe. And so that means minimum, no matter what, you need a 16 gigabyte USB thumb drive. Now, next thing I'm actually going to look at, you see how it's, it basically is a standard install of Windows 10 with whatever it ships with. 
Also, you're going to realize that the resolution is a little bit off. I was going to play around with that, but I realized that the drivers were not installed. And if you want to get you know, the full screen to be working, you're probably going to have to install the drivers. I'm using an AMD uh, graphic card. And um, the addition of Windows. I was using Pro when I installed this. I don't know if that has to translate to this version being Pro. I'm not too sure because I was using Pro already. But here we have it. Uh, Windows 10 booted off USB. For my installation of Windows to go, I'm probably going to be putting a lot of utilities in there to help me fix people's computers. Let me know in the comments below on what you would do and if you got any questions about this. Now, it'll help me a lot if you share this video and also subscribe. And don't forget, hack till it hurts. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe, it helps me a lot. And if you want to watch more videos like this, I'll post a link right here.